In this tutorial, I'll show you how to calculate angular frequency and frequency of a mass spring system. The question reads, a mass spring system has a mass of 2.0 kilograms, a spring with a constant of 3.0 newtons per meter, and an amplitude of vibration of 0 0.10 meters. In question A, calculate the angular frequency and frequency. In order for us to calculate angular frequency and frequency, we'll be using the two formulas underneath here. The first one, of course, is for angular frequency, and it's denoted by the Greek letter omega, and that's equal to k, which represents the spring constant. The spring constant has the units 3.0 newtons per meter. So I'll write down 3.0 newtons per meter divided by the mass, being 2.0 kilograms. Now, before I show you the calculation here, which is simple, you just plug it into your calculator. Remember, newtons is the same thing as kilograms times meters per second squared. That's being divided by meters. So it's like placing meters underneath here. And this unit and that unit will cancel out. In addition, we have 2.0 kilograms. So that's being divided by kg, which suggests that this unit and that unit will cancel out. So technically, we have the square root of 3 over 2 and the units are 1 over second squared. Now if we were to square root this part, we would end up with the square root of 3 over 2, whatever that is equal to, and the square root of 1 over s to the power of 2 is simply 1 over s. So the units for angular frequency is 1 over s, or 1 over seconds. And just for reference sake, the square root of 3 over 2 is roughly 1.2, so it's 1.2 per second. Now, we want to find the frequency as well, and the frequency formula is written right here, where frequency is equal to what we just found as the square root of 3 over 2 at the top, or you can write down 1.2, it's up to you, and again the units are 1 over seconds, over 2 pi. We're using radians here, so that's why we use 2 pi, but frequency can also be calculated as 1 over 360 degrees. We don't need to write down RAD for radians. So dividing these two numbers out, we have the square root of 3 over 2 divided by 2 times pi, and that's roughly equal to 0 0.19. We want to round to two significant figures, 0 0.19 will do. 0 0.19, and the units again are per second. That completes question A, and for question B, take t is equal to 0 at the equilibrium position. Now when something's at the equilibrium position, especially a spring mass system, that means it's not being compressed or elongated. So picture that in your mind. Write expressions for the position, velocity, and acceleration as a function of time. Now to do this, we have to use the following template, where x being the position is equal to a cosine omega t plus b sine omega t. Now if this thing is at equilibrium where t is equal to zero, you have to remember what a sine and cosine function look like before starting. Now I always remember that if we have a y and x axis, sine starts at zero and zero, makes its way up, again back to zero, reaches its minimum, and the cycle finishes. So that's what sine looks like. Cosine, on the other hand, starts at 0 and 1, makes its way to its minimum halfway along the cycle, and then bounces back up, like this. Now, of these two, the one that works best for us in this situation, given that when t is equal to 0, it's at equilibrium, the blue one works best, because if we were to interpret this blue wave, where that's when it's elongated, and that's when it's compressed, or vice versa. When t is equal to zero, or when x is equal to zero in this case, it is neither elongated or compressed. So we have to use sine instead of cosine to write this as a function. So I'll say position x is equal to b sine omega t, where b is the amplitude Omega is what we found earlier, and t represents the time. So all we have to do 
is substitute some of these values into that formula where the amplitude being 0 0.10 in for B, 0 0.10 sine and omega being 1.2 or the square root of 3 over 2, it's up to you, T. Another way to represent this value, 1.2, is to write it in terms of the frequency. Look at this formula here. Frequency is equal to omega over 2 pi. You can multiply both sides by 2 pi and you get frequency times 2 pi is equal to omega. So instead of 1.2, you can write down 0 0.19 times 2 pi t. But it's strictly up to you. Now, we need to do this for velocity and acceleration. To do it for velocity, you need to take the derivative of this function. Now, if you haven't learned about calculus, this is where it comes in handy. And if we were to take the derivative here, the derivative of the position function gives us the velocity of the spring mass system in terms of t. So taking the derivative, which I'll write down x prime is equal to, it gives us the velocity function, so v, 0 0.10, the derivative of sine is cosine 1.2t, and then we take the derivative of what's inside cosine, which is 1.2. So this is the function for velocity, and I'll write down velocity. Of course, you can also multiply 0 0.10 by 1.2 if you like at this point, but I'm just going to leave it all factored out like that. The acceleration function is found by taking the derivative of v. So I'll represent the derivative of v with v prime is equal to the acceleration, and that's equal to 0 0.10 times 1.2. The derivative of cosine is negative sine, so I'll write down negative sine 1.2 t, and I'll take the derivative of the inside being 1.2 again. So let me just clean up these two formulas. This one becomes, that answers question B, and in question C, graph the position, velocity, and acceleration as a function of time. Here's a look of all three graphs, and notice that at equilibrium, displacement is zero, and the velocity is a maximum, and acceleration is zero. As the mass moves to the positive maximum displacement, the velocity decreases to zero and the acceleration increases to a maximum. At the maximum displacement, the velocity is zero and the acceleration is a maximum. As the mass starts down, the velocity is negative, reaching maximum again as the mass passes through equilibrium. And so there you have it. That is how to calculate angular frequency and frequency of a mass spring system, among several other things.